how would you characterize 2009 as we're starting to look back and um, and maybe how has this last quarter differed from the first three or the, sure. the latter half differed from the first half? Well, I mean, I think that's part of the reason why I uh, decided to have this party. Um, this is my sixth year in residential real estate and the mid, you know, one of the worst real estate markets for a while. Um, I've had my, my best year. And, and I'm very, very humbled and grateful for, for that. Um, and that's, that's what inspired this event tonight, is just the opportunity to just look somebody and my clients in, in the eye and say thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, I think the bulk of my volume sales was toward the middle of the year. Um, I think, you know, recently, in the last month or so, I'd say activity has been, at least I've noticed it, it's been down a bit. Mm -hmm. But it typically is around this time of year. Yeah. Uh, at this point, I'm sort of focused on uh, next year, which is uh, something that I'm cautiously uh, optimistic um, about because it's uh, very possible that the market could be equally as flat mm -hmm. overall as it was this year. So I need to, I need to, obviously, I am thinking about that. All right. Uh, any trends that you noticed this year? Did you have a lot of first-time buyers or people who were uh, who were coming in taking advantage of the credit of uh, the tax credit? Uh, were most of your sales concentrated in a particular area? What types of trends did you notice in terms of your business? Well, you know, I don't think I saw the um, first-time buyers has not been uh, a big part of my business. Mm -hmm. It's kind of unusual in that sense, but uh, that. It, it might have helped a couple transactions uh, or maybe move somebody up to take advantage of it, which I think what's kind of what's going on with the credit. Um, location, I mean, most of my business is, is, in, is in the West Loop, part of the South Loop, Wicker Park. Um, I do venture, you know, outside of that. Um, trends, you know, I, I saw a lot of people wanting to make a move, but uh, people waiting to sell their homes first, which is, different from how things were, you know, a few years ago. So, um, that, that, that was a noticeable trend this year, is, you know, a seller wants to move, I'm not making an offer anything until I sell, which is what I was recommending. Uh, and then once I was able to sell, uh, I was happy to say I did sell most of my listings, not all, but most. Uh, once that happened, then they purchased something. And there's a couple, couple uh, examples right in this development. How do you prepare or set goals for a year like 2010 when you're not really sure what that's going to look like? Um, what what, uh, well, what are your expectations? What are you going to try to focus on? And uh, I mean, part of it is, you know, analyzing and try to, trying to forecast what's going to happen in the economy and evaluate some of the other factors involved. Um, some of it is a gut feel, you know, but it, when it comes to business planning, and obviously goals is important. You do have to put your stake on the ground somewhere and pick a number mm -hmm. and, and, and just shoot and, and work hard towards, towards that number. So uh, 2010 uh, is definitely um, you know, something that I'm focused on right now. And I, I think I do have a number in, in, in my head. So um, you know, I'm mostly a listing agent and I know that's, uh, you know, it's tough to be a listing agent in this market, mm -hmm. um, but that's, that's, that's where most of my business is going to come. So um, that's really what I'm focused on right now is lining up my inventory, um, most of which is going to come on in around February, March. And uh, right now I'm just sort of thinking, about, okay, what am I going to do to maximize the exposure? Mm -hmm. um, what am I going to do to sell these, these, these properties? Um, Are we talking? And then off of that will come some other form of business. So obviously, I'm going to have represent buyers as well. Um, but this year, for example, I mean, I think my listings outnumbered buyer representation. I would say two to one at least. All right. Uh, for 2010, when you're talking about some of the things you have coming online, online are these going to be just um, uh, resales that you know about earlier, or this yes, even more new construction? That... It's, it's resales that I know about right now, where mm -hmm. I have sellers, uh, some of which I've advised, just, let's just wait another month or two. 
Um, the, 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 the first time buyer credit legislation changed my recommendations a bit to it. Mm -hmm. um, and I also have an eight unit development coming on probably in the spring in River West at 1151 West Erie. Uh, that's still in the planning and development stage, but uh, I'll be marketing that, the eight units there. Uh, we still have some availability of the Jackson development over there I'm at uh, 1254 West Jackson. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think right now it's, 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 it is some resales, large single family home to, to condos, to townhouses, condos and townhouses being you know, a good part of my business. Um, so, so yeah, that, that's, that's, that's what I have coming down and I, I see a very busy February, March, April, May, it might be a month where things kind of slow down once the, the, the buyer credit maybe slows down a little bit for a month and then, I mean so, people are still moving in June, July. Yeah.